Hey everyone, this is Big Face from Big Face Robotics and as you can tell from the mess that is everywhere in my workshop I've started rebuilding the big wheel bot chassis or the garden robot as I'm calling it, I'm not sure which name to uh, settle on at the moment but this is the old chassis here and it's been more or less stripped to, to its component parts uh, for use on the new uh, chassis so I'll quickly recap on why I'm doing this. There's a few design issues uh, with this robot. Uh, if you remember I said that the wheelbase was a bit too narrow and the gear ratio wasn't quite right so the robot was very jerky in its movements uh, which made capturing smooth video quite difficult. Uh, so I'm planning on widening the wheelbase and reducing the, the gear ratio off the motors. Uh, I also am going to come up with uh, an alternative design gearbox so that the motor isn't meshed directly to the, the sort of wheel gear that arrangement that I had because it was causing uh, a bit of wear and tear on these on these motors so that's why I'm doing this. I'm also going to simplify the design a little bit I'm going to do away with motor encoders for a minute although I'll probably end up adding them back on and a lot of the sensors for now uh, just because I'm, I'm more interested in capturing some smooth video footage as the robot drives around and uh, and I don't want to overcomplicate it, I will probably add a lot of this stuff back in at a later date. So that's what I'm working on. So to start this, I designed a new gearbox uh, on FreeCAD and then started to print out the component parts. Um, I'll show you the completed gearboxes because I've printed two and I've mounted them onto the, the new chassis. So here's the new gearbox. Uh, so I have a drive gear off the motor, an intermediate gear and a, a sort of output gear. It's coupled to a, a bolt that um, attaches to the wheel. So I've got about uh, an 11 to 1 gear ratio on this, which is uh, much better for what I'm trying to do. More torque, lower speed, so should should work a, a lot nicer than what I had before. Uh, a few nice design features in this. I've coupled the motor directly to this plate with a couple of bolts. You can't really see them in there, but that's a really sturdy fixing on there. And on the small gear that's on the motor output shaft, I've got a brass bush in there that I had lying around for many years. And they're press fit into there. And this bolt goes through the, the plastic, through the brass bush, and attaches onto the motor shaft, which is really much stronger than I had before. So yeah, I'm pleased with this setup. As you can see, the wheelbase is a lot wider. And I've made a new chassis to to suit which is just an aluminium plate that I've cut, drilled and painted and some aluminium box section at the back that's going to hold the caster and the battery is going to sit back here I need to make a plate to attach the battery to there and I'll keep all the battery weight over the rear caster so yeah I'm pleased with that I'm just about to print out a, a, a bracket to, to space this uh, rear caster wheel the right amount so I'm going to print that out and, uh, and continue assembly So progress is good. I've got uh, pretty much everything mounted. Um, showed you the gearboxes. Made a new plate to mount the robot arm. That's just held off the main sort of chassis plate with some threaded rod and, and nuts and some spacers. So that's all mounted. I've also made a plate for the battery to sit on. I'll show you that in a sec. And the battery is going to be secured with some Velcro straps. And I've made a 3D printed little holder there that clamps the two ends of the velcro so that the battery will sit on there and then the velcro will wrap round and hold it in place. Nice uh, nice way of doing it I think. So that's what it's going to look like. Uh, I've been working on the electronics, exactly the same setup as, uh, as the previous version. Um, I'm going to make it in two levels so I've got motor driver and uh, accelerometer and connection block down there then another plate that's going to have the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino board so there we go let's get in there not long and I'll be able to put it all back together and uh, give it a test drive so here's the finished robot everything put back together painted and reassembled looks very similar to the previous design um, but simplified few design changes around the gearboxes as I've discussed 
from previously in the video I've made another change and that is I've moved the MPU 6050 IMU up under the camera here so I redesigned this camera bracket and tucked the IMU in behind there so that data collected from the IMU is representative of what the camera is doing I may use that in the future, I may not, I'm not sure so I've got the battery fitted on the back here I've got the smaller of the 12 volt batteries on here at the moment I've got some options here I can use this one running at 12 volts the larger 12 volt battery or two of these together and convert it back to 24 volts if I need to if I find I need the extra voltage for driving around on the grass and things in the garden so I took some more footage of this outside where the lights a bit better I'll show you that here uh, I've also taken this for a, a test drive and as I said it seems to work just fine a bit slower over the grass than I'd have liked but certainly an improvement on the previous design so I'm going to use this for a little while obviously it's much simplified no encoders no additional sensors and this is really as I said before just about a, a nice stable robot platform to capture some good quality video footage as it drives around So I've been working with some of the footage captured with the robot as it drives around the garden and I've been trying to get some visual odometry working. This is a, a tricky subject and I'm just starting to get my head around it at the moment. I've had some mixed results. Uh, what you're seeing on the screen here at the moment is my attempt to plot the robot path or more accurately the camera path as the robot drives around and I've had some mixed results. I'm still working on it and I'm looking into various things like visual slam and structure from motion and I'm starting to get my head around it a little bit and that's what I've been working on over the last month or so. I've also captured some footage in the workshop just for testing purposes and that's what I'm showing you here and you can see I've managed to plot the camera trajectory and triangulate some points as the camera moves around which to me is the first step in uh, visual odometry so that's what I'm working on at the moment. So there we go, a rebuilt robot and some progress on the mapping side of things. That's it for this video, I'll be back at some point with an update on the mapping, uh, show you where I've got with that. But that's it for now, uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos, and as always, thanks for watching.